Why you can't enable vibrant visuals in Minecraft Bedrock? If you're having issues enabling the vibrant visuals option on your Minecraft Bedrock Edition device, and you can't get shaders on your Minecraft server, world, or realm, well, don't worry, as this video goes through all the different reasons that you might be having issues, as well as how to fix them. If you're watching this video before the summer drop 2025, then you do need the beta or preview versions of Minecraft to be able to get vibrant visuals. These are free versions of Minecraft that you can download on any device if you own Minecraft. So on the PlayStation, you can download them from settings but on other devices you have to download them externally for minecraft it is free and you can get it on any minecraft device and this is basically just a version of minecraft that's used to be able to test upcoming features such as the vibrant visual shaders now if you're watching this after the summer drop of 2025 then you most likely won't need to have the experimental versions on the beta and previews but for now you do once you have downloaded a minecraft beta or preview version or if you already have one installed you need to make sure that when you're creating a world or editing a world you enable the experiment for vibrant visuals in your world settings under the experiments as otherwise this will not work for you then you need to go into your minecraft world and you'll be able to enable the vibrant visuals in your settings but if it's grayed out for you it could be because your device doesn't support it we'll get onto requirements in a second or it could be that you have a texture pack installed that's not supported with vibrant visuals so make sure you disable any texture packs or any resource packs for your minecraft world as well as global resource packs or global texture packs as well as these can affect vibrant vibrant visuals and stop it from working. If you still don't have the option for vibrant visuals or it's greyed out, then this could be because your device doesn't meet the minimum requirements. Now, of course, your device needs to meet the minimum requirements of Minecraft, but there is also additional minimum requirements for the vibrant visuals. And this is because vibrant visuals require a lot more processing power and it needs to have a stronger device. Now, as of right now, the devices that can support vibrant visuals are Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Pocket Edition, and Windows PC. Minecraft have said they are hoping to get vibrant visuals out to more devices, so hopefully it at least comes to Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch 2. Although as far as I'm aware, there's no beta or preview versions for the Switch, so this could be why it's not currently available on those devices. And hopefully they support more platforms in the future as well. There's talks about Java Edition possibly getting vibrant visuals, if that's possible for Mojang to do. They're looking into it. If you're on iOS, you need to be running an A12 or M1 chip or higher, and if you're on PC, you need to be running DX12 or higher. For Android, there's a couple of different options for different devices of what you need to be running, so I'll leave all the information for the minimum requirements in the pinned comment down below. But again, these requirements may change in the future as Minecraft may support more or less devices depending on the performance of vibrant visuals and if it's able to be run on devices. That's what the beta and previews are for, to be able to test vibrant visuals, make it as best as possible, and be able to have the best experience for people as possible. If you've watched this video and you're still having issues with vibrant visuals, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try and help you out. Out.